And we are live! Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Honkai Star Rail. How are we doing? <laughs> Howdy, Xavier. I hope all's been well, Loki. Yeah! I, I've been doing okay, yeah. I had to take off the last few days because, well, between a bunch of different stuff was going on. I also kind of strained my neck a little, so I was like, ah. I was like, I didn't want to be, like, trying to, like, you know keep myself from like breaking it while trying to play with you guys. I was like, oh my god, let me just do my work while laying on a bed or something. <laughs> so yeah, that kind of sucked, but like, overall, it's been pretty okay. Uh, do I have 60? Yes, I do. Let's get this done while we, uh, while we're here. Woo! Hey, I am good to see you in the chat. Alright, I'm gonna turn down the volume on my end for... There we go. And, yep, let's go. So, chat, today we're gonna try finishing the drinking event. Because that event really needs to be finished already. I'm tired of waiting. Happy New Year, we're getting that right over. Getting that over with right away. Destiny isn't chosen. Sure. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. I can do this. Ah, uh, sure. Stand still. Uh, don't need to, so we'll just save this. Yeah. Loki trying not to break his night challenge, challenge impossible. Yeah, I guess I'm a, a Ting Yoon or something. Good time. There we go. Time to say bye. Get that over with, and then we can put this on auto. These are devils. I'll crush them all. Ill fate descend. Get them. There we go. Relax. Beautiful. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I am so ready, Chad. It's gonna be a good weekend, I think. Hopefully, we'll also have Lyrnian Wars done over the weekend, so I can have that post on Monday. We'll see how fast I can get that finished. It might might take uh, happen later this week instead, but I think I can do it. I think it's possible. Well, that's gonna suck. Never mind. Yeah, Larian Wars, I think, is on a very good uh, trajectory, so it should be done, like, relatively quickly. Now, Aventurine is also coming out next week, so I'm trying to farm up, so I'll be able to max him out day one. We'll see how well that goes. Like, I can only farm so much. So, like, yeah, I guess we'll just see how it plays out. Nice. These are devils. All right, chat, I have to stop this. No, I didn't say bye. I was hoping to stop my, uh, I was hoping to stop Kafka from doing that. I was like, oh, no. Well, whatever. It's the last one. Nice. Nice. But yeah, Lyrian Wars should be good. I'm really excited for that one, chat. That one, it's strange because it's not too, it's not BK related, but it is one that I am, I like a lot. It has most of the stuff that I really like. A lot of translation stuff for me to talk about. A lot of talk about the characters and how they interact and things like that, right? A lot of cool stuff focusing on the environment and the cool details. Like, it just has, like, everything that I could possibly want in an analysis. Which, again, Elden Ring's localization is decent. So, there's not as many opportunities for me to talk about uh, translation problems in this. Which is the one reason I feel like I should be talking about Elden Ring more. Granted... Oh, wait, that's not, a, that's not what I want to do. There we go. Granted, now... I still think that no we don't want that um there we go that's enough granted i still think personally that we can ooh, how, i think i need seven sixty nine so this should be fine right yeah oh wait 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 no that's that's wait that's way more than okay i i miscounted my bad chat I, i'm awful at this it's fine we'll be getting more it's fine it's fine most people don't pay attention to the loads of little details. Yeah, I don't blame them, but, like, with something like uh, From Software, like, that's, like, their whole shtick. So it's important to look at all the little details and try to parse together what's significant and what's noise, right? But, um, yeah. So I, I just think it's really cool. And like I said, the problem with Elden Ring is just that localization-wise, which is the main facet, like, for me to explore and, like, my, my main credit to fame for what little there is of that, it just isn't as relevant. 
Like, again, it's not saying that it's completely irrelevant. I usually have one or two things to talk about with each of my theses, but these theses are so big, and most of it's just talking about data and um, patterns and things like that. And that's the stuff that, I'll be honest, bores me. It's the it's the research stuff that I don't like. As a writer, I like the creative stuff, so. Hey, Raijin. I'm doing fairly okay. Anyway, so we've done our uh, we've done our necessary farming for the day. I have a lot of uh, a lot of materials done. I'm getting Luca and Clara done. Um, come next week when we have to pay 300k for our weeklies again, I'll be able to get at least 132k just leveling up Luca and stuff. I'm gonna probably use a lot of these materials as I keep getting my daily income from them, right? Um, Clara, though, is gonna need some ascension materials, so I don't know when I'm gonna be able to farm these. Like I said, I'm trying to get Aventurine maxed out, and I am... I'm a little ways off from that. Let's ignore the fact that I shaved off 10 of these that I shouldn't have. These should be 69. Nice. Um, I think these I can actually get rid of one more, though, for. I think I... I don't think I need 22. Anyway, but I think the... I think this, I need to have, like, 140 of them. Um, and keep in mind, I can use these, but Tears of Dreams counts as greens of any material. So, in reality, I have 11. So, I have 11 purples here. So, that gets me to over 100. I still need to get, like, 38. Almost 40. As a writer, you like the part where you write? Well, technically, it's all writing, but in terms of creative writing, like, in terms of, like, novel writing, right? The, the, the stuff about the characters and how they interact and how the psychology works to get us the environmental storytelling and the textual stuff that we do have, that's what's um, really interesting to me from a creative writer's perspective, right? And then my translator part of me, right? The person who's like, God damn this localization, how can you fuck this up, right? Like, that part of me gets really itched when I find an actual localization error to bitch about, right? So, it's a matter of, um, it's a matter of just sort of, like, getting something that gets me really enthused. Because, like, uh, Crucible's End, I liked a lot. It ended up taking a lot longer than necessary. And part of that was because of the data collection aspects and stuff. And granted, there were so many other factors that were, like, slowing me down that analysis. But I really should have had it done sooner. I really should have had it done. Honestly, I think I should have had it done two months ago. I think if I really put my, uh, my brain to it, I could have had it done, like, two months earlier. But it is what it is, right? We have a DLC coming up. Um, Leader Wars is going to be next. I'll probably skip the Ancient Dragon War because I don't think... I might start an outline for it, but I don't think I'm going to have the actual analysis done anytime soon. Right. I like data collection, right? See, and I enjoy it for the casual part where I get to talk with you, chat, while I do it. But the actual collection and, like, listing off the data and what it means, that stuff is just boring as hell to me. I'm sorry. I There's a reason why I'm a writer and not a fucking scientist. Sorry to all the scientists in the, in the, in the chat. We don't need to worry about that right now. Uh, this, I have... Oh, chat, I have to show this off, actually. Chat, I have done so much with, um... What, what the hell is that? Anyway. Um, I've done so much for the, uh... For the Cosmodicy every day and stuff like that. We have some really hilarious, uh... Assignments here. Like, here we have... Uh, like, this is for, like, having horticulture done. Natasha planted a seed. Branya ward off all the obstacles for it. And Zila softly plucked its fruit. This fruit of hope from Bellbog will most certainly flow with sweet nectar. That's cute, right? Then you got the homemade food squad. And this time I picked Jingyuan, uh, Yukong, and Fushuen. And we got uh, Jingyuan bought the fresh <laughs> ingredients. And Yukong showed off her outstanding foxy and cooking skills. After the meal was over, Diviner Fu also came over to help wash the dishes. The Law Fu's six charioteers are truly skilled at everything. Uh, of course, Ching Tue, uh, uh, Su Shong, and Luca. I'll be honest, I was kind of hoping for a full LaFu team of, like, idiots with Gwen Ifen, but they only had, like, uh, Luca here. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll have Luca do it. It's like, okay, Ching Tue gave a random design. Su Shong didn't understand it either. Of course she doesn't. At the end, they had to rely on Luca's looks to make the dress presentable. That was pretty tough. What I would kill to see Luca in a dress. Um, this is just because I really like this shot of Pom Pom for some reason. Uh, yeah, this is what a shot that we took here. We done that. Uh, oh, yeah, uh... uh... Joanne, who passed by, notices you all. So, this is, um... This is me basically trying to hide, I think, after there was this whole thing going on with, I think, someone on the station. I just remember this being funny. I wish I took the shot of the other before and after. And then you have this one with, um... With Arlen. Oh, this is the this is the CPR thing. All right, because they basically have you pull out the March and Don Hung scene, where like basically I think it was Arlen or someone who who uh, who needed CPR done to them, and then it was like, okay, well, do I do it or do I tell Arlen to do it, right? 
And it's like, so it's like, Arlen, quickly contacts the medical department. It's obvious Arlen doesn't know how to do CPR either. You hope the researchers by ranks. Because someone, like, passed out. Okay, I remember that one. Uh, this is... Okay, this is the one where someone's, like, running through, and then, like, Asta eventually shows up. It's like, ah, Asta rouses you with notifications out of a payment being made into your bank account. Right, because I think, like, someone, like, stole something from me or something. Um... <laughs> Shui was just like chill chilling around and then she got stuck in the hex club with the hexanexus uh puzzle thing that we did um in uh the lafu and it's like she becomes a member of the secret society she now has access to all intel of the hex club i found that one funny drama squad sparkle came up with a sword fight movie script black swan set up a stage using memoria and akron played a sword master on stage that actually really works out honestly uh with the show being so indistinguishable from reality the play received resounding cheers uh, experiment squad the questions that dr ratio posed were all very challenging of course the experimental design from madame ron may made a lot of sense plus miss topaz also hired a professional team to manage the data this team could probably even tackle questions on a cosmic scale and then of course this is who i got for the personality test the enlightenment beacon this guy named uh, falcon amundsen amundsen i don't know how to pronounce that so it seems like the guy got like old man i got old man which is pretty cool they give you like some lore on the uh the different navigators on the express. The Morning Star. Apparently, I am strong-willed and straightforward and righteous. Decisive, pragmatic, and energetic, often taking swift and assertive action. I demonstrate exceptional ability in inspiring and safeguarding those around me, leading as a guiding light. I don't know, Chad. I think they got the wrong person. Hey, Pedro. Welcome to the chat. You're a lizard scientist. I am not a lizard. How dare you insult me? I would never associate myself with those scaly abominations. <laughs> I've, I've had to use the scientific uh, method several times in my observations, like with observing the hit effects, for example, and learning that there's a Karian-specific one. <laughs> Xavier on the road to become the gaming scientist. Uh, honestly, I like data collection as long as it's interesting and lets you pierce, uh, think, piece things together by joining individual data and then look at the big picture. Still prefer things left to interpretation. Uh, again... I don't disagree with that. The problem is, is that you are talking about things where you're like, just like, oh, I like getting the data and then piecing it together or whatever. That's great. I agree with you. That's wonderful. That's something that I think everybody enjoys that you're into like um, mysteries or something of that nature. <coughs> but then you're not the person. <coughs> you're not the person that has to write it all down and put it as part of a larger analysis on a giant topic. <coughs> I'm the one who has to write 10 plus pages on this crap. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. This is what uh, this is what I uh, Aventry and I basically bet against each other. I accidentally win this carriage thing in the debris piece. Aventry generously puts the full payment in your stead and says, "It's fine. I like it. I beat his luck, chat." Anyway, so uh, Cosmodicy is a fun event. I really enjoy it a lot. You get to just keep going too once you've actually completed it. They basically oh, that's not it. There we go. They basically let you just do it infinitely if you want. So I'm very happy with that. Maybe he's a lizard writer. <laughs> no! I am not a lizard! Why do you all think I'm a lizard? No. <sighs> so, yeah. Alright, so we're gonna do the event today. We're gonna finish up this event, I think. Um, just for no other reason, except I'm tired. Oh, what's this? Uh, oh, nice. I got my max for the... Yeah, I got my max for the week. That's awesome. Even though I already hit my max for the week. Cool. Uh, but yeah, so I want to get this stuff out of the way, right? So Aventurine is going to come out, and we're going to get our 20 warps uh, that we need for, to finish this from that, probably. But I want to get these done, hopefully, today. That way, we can be, like, what's 2,800 here? So it's about 800 each time, right? So about 2,400. So I could get to here, and I could get another 30 books right away. And then by next week, um, I'll be able to get the extra fuel I need. I think I can get that um, probably day one or day two of next week. And then I'll have the extra fuel for farming if necessary. And then, yeah, there's nothing else really crazy I want. Like, we have a few of these in reserve now. Yeah, I have three right now. Um, this would be cool to have because, again, I have... I'm so close, chat. Another 40 pulls, and I'm finally going to get my free th uh, five star. Granted, I don't know who to choose anymore. Um, I really want to get someone's Eidolons. Like, I'm not crazy about getting Yingqing or Welt right now. Like, if I get them from losing a 50-50, cool. But, like... I'm interested in maybe getting Clara's E1, Japard's E1, um, I could go with a Bronya E1, or Himiko E2. Like, all of those are very good options for me. I don't care for my Bailu, Yangjing, or Welt. So we'll just see how it goes. But, like, 
let's be honest, it's going to be months still before I get that 300 pulls. And even then, it's not like I have to pick my uh, free five star right away. So we'll, we'll see how it plays out. If I get, if I lose some 50-50s, like on Aventurine, which I better not. I bet on Aventurine's luck. There ain't no way that my man Aventurine is going to betray me, right? Right? He's not going to betray me. That's not happening. Kakamasha would never, never, never let me lose a 50-50 to him. His wonderful luck won't allow it, right? <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to have to do that and see how that plays out. Oh my god, these two. Oh, a singler. I remember her. Who else is here? Jay? I don't recognize him. Alrighty. Let's do it, chat. There we go. Alright. Uh, some co oh, wait, 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 why are you, why are we going on auto? Uh, some customers are into monsters come in and the lounge livens up. Siobhan hasn't shown up yet. Well, let's start serving customers anyway. Alright, chat. Oh, that's not how you do it. Oh, I have, I have other people I need to serve. Statistics? Oh, tip, okay, okay. So I, I give in the bottle caps. And I get stuff for it, right? I see. That's cool. That's cool. Honestly, I'm really happy we're getting more of these Traveler's Guides, because I need as many as I can for the level ups I'm doing. <laughs> don't worry, you may get Aventurine, but there's a 50% of the game crashing and losing the character in the process. I don't think that's... A, I don't think the way Star Rail set up, I don't think that's actually possible. I think at worst it'll roll you back. I'll be honest, I don't think the game is designed in a way that they would allow players to potentially abuse it by, like, being like, Oh, I didn't get the character I wanted, but oh well, my game crashed just in time. Hey, Victor Gaiman, welcome on in. Good to have you here. Okay, this is cool, though. So I've got four levels. I have another six to go, so that's not that bad. We'll get a nice thing here. Anything else crazy? Oh, um. Oh, that's cute with the dog. That's a cute little chat box. I might use that. I don't know, I really like my current chat box thing. And what's this? Uh, waiting to be deduced. Oh, it's how to make this stuff. Okay. Here's the final look for the drink. Select here to see a larger image. Use specific ingredients to recreate the drink in the image. The glass selection ice cube steps have been skipped for you. Oh, cool. Huh. I guess this is it, right? Is that correct? I think so. Yeah, this seems right. Peering at the sky, you see a pink cloud. Happy Friday. Yeah, it's a it's good to be Friday, right? Again, I'm, I'm ready for this weekend. I'm going to see if I can finish the Lyranian Wars. Because, again, I, I'm, I'm very close. I've made very good progress. I have the worst, I want to have the first draft done this weekend. So that way, next week, you guys can have the rest. Ooh, cool. So, nice. Okay. So that's what deductions are. Okay. And it says I need to do, what, like, 9, 12 or something? I, I don't remember what it says. All right, let's see this. Uh, Pink. Oh, okay. That's wrong. Well, okay then. Um. Damn. Huh. Uh, stir. There we go. Alright. So you just gotta keep guessing. No, yeah. I, I'm hopeful, because, again, we're, like, into, like, 50 pity. So I think we could get a Venturine in, like, 
I, I mean, if we get him early in, like, one temple or something, that'd be cool. But I think we could definitely um, get him even if we hit hard pity. I just need to get real lucky with my 50-50. Which, hey, I've had weird luck lately so, on these pulls, so we'll see. All right, Ice Palace. There we go. Ah. Uh, I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Okay, now, um, it's definitely not stirred here, right? There's definitely levels to this. Okay, so the color does, okay, I think I see it. I think I see it. I think you stir this. Then it's, you add another blue, and then you add the pink at the top. Damn. Or not. This can't be it, can it? Oh my god, it is. Chat, I'm just blind. I'm just blind. By the way, my head is ache. You have to look at the Spanish localization of Elden Ring. The first Elden Lord was translated as the first Lord of Elden for LA and the first Lord of the Circle for Spain. Huh. The l first Lord of Elden. Um, that one could work, I think. But first Lord of the Circle is fu kind of funny. Well, granted, I think the problem, at least for me, when it comes to the whole Elden thing is, like, what is the Elden referring to? Like, I would assume it's supposed to refer to, like, just old, right? Like, that should be, like, what it's going for. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's not that, chat. Um, okay, uh. Mix it. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, Circle is referencing the Elden Ring. Very funny, though. God, I will say one thing about this event. I like how chill it is with the music and everything. Beautiful. Uh, what do we have next? Uh, this- oh god, what- well, Let's be real, what's this supposed to mean? Um... Nope, okay. So there is some... There's some mixture here. How about this? That does not look right, Chet. Maybe this. Maybe? Yeah, that looks better. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. But yeah, from what I understand, the European localizations um, are based on the English script. Um, so if there's any problem with the English script, it'll be exacerbated oftentimes in the um, in the one in other European languages, whether it's Spanish, French, um, German, etc. I don't know if this is still true for Elden Ring. Again, it's possible that things have changed. But that's just how it's been traditionally. Okay, so let's try mixing this. No, that doesn't look right. Let's try stirring it now. I 
don't know, chat. Looks off to me. There we go. Sorry about that. Dog had a dog had a moment. Uh, let's see. No, okay, no. There has to be a mixing somewhere. What is an Elden Lord specifically? Just the spouse of God? Uh, base essentially. That seems to be the idea. The God, the God, um, the character, um. The, the god will become the queen, and then her consort will become the Elden Lord, seems to be the idea. And there seems to be this point of, like, if the god will be the vessel for the Elden Ring, then the uh, Elden Lord will be the guardian of the Elden Ring. Which, I get, is presumably where the name Elden Lord comes from, right? Because it connects back to the ring. But my problem is, is, like, is the idea of, um, why call it Elden Lord, then? Um, versus just, like, Ring Lord or something. Again, I guess because Ring Lord sounds kind of stupid. That's the only thing I can think of. Oh, now it's funny because Godfrey says, I, Godfrey, the first Lord of the Circle. Again, I'd be fine with it if it was the Lord of the Ring. I think Lord of the Circle is a bit weird. Again, I, that, I think that's more so, like, an English thing. Like, just Ring has a better, well, part of my French Ring to it, right? So it's a bit weird hearing um, an English circle, and I imagine it's the same thing in... Yeah, this seems like it should be right, chat, but I'm missing something for sure. Okay, I, I think I think I got this. We're going to put this first, and then this, and then I'm going to mix it. Right. Now that looks too brown. Okay, what if I do the syrup first, and then the red? Right, that's definitely two layers of pink and one layer of white at the top, right? Yeah, there we go. I'll be honest, I don't think that red looks as red as it looks on the actual thing here. Maybe I'm crazy, but I, it doesn't look that red to me. The main problem here is that in English, it's kind of ambiguous when you join two nouns together. It's just possession or a new noun. Yeah, that's true. It can be ambiguous in English. Uh, whereas in Spanish, you need connectors to join every damn thing. That's true. So Spanish can get really wordy, too, in that respect. So it can sound very weird. Because um, then, like, everything is basically, uh, yeah, like you said, like, I am the, the lord of the circle or something of that. Look at me. All right, so that covers all this stuff. Cool, so we got some extra extra rewards there. That covers everything. Uh, what's Dream Jolt special? Oh, it's just listing all the stuff that we did. Okay, cool. Uh, what's this? Flavoring ingredients. Oh, cool. Tells you all the stuff you unlock, too. Neat. And what's this? Limited time rewards. Cool, yo. This part is, I only need, like, eight for black swans. I already have too many of these blues and purples, right? So, like, I guess I'm going to save this for a future Nihility character I want to play. I guess we'll see how that turns out. All right, so finish all those. We'll get 12. Got to deal with everyone's emotional prob problems. Complete the missions. There we go. Yeah, you need uh, gender for a substantive and article, so it's hell if you don't know well the context when translating from English, for example. Uh, yeah, I can imagine that could also be an issue. Um, similar things happen in English with pronouns and stuff, right? Um, when, like, um, a character is never identified by gender in the Japanese, but then the English assumes a he or, um, or a she, um, in there, and then, like, it turns out, like, something else comes out later or something else in the base game or whatever will reveal that that character's gender, even if it's, like, a deep lore thing, is actually the opposite of what the game says it is. Um, we've had a few instances of that, and that always sucks, but, um... All right, so let's go. You no, know, you exude an air of detachment, evoking a profound solitude as if you weren't really here. I don't know how to establish a connection with you. Your exceptional uniqueness makes me feel inferior. Oh, 
Perhaps this place was never intended for me. Yet for fleeting moments, I did experience a glimmer of warmth. <laughs> can you just say something I can understand? <laughs> Are my words truly so inscrutable? How heartrending. An impenetrable barrier is formed, dividing us. <sighs> What's the point of talking about all this useless stuff all day? How about something tangible, like a glass of drifting wind? Don't forget to add that pretty decoration on it, thank you. What's this decoration on this drink again? Activate the drink smith simulator! Give me a drifting wind. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is it. Okay, good. I don't feel like I don't see it, chat. <laughs> Alright, so large wine glass. Uh, This guy seems like he needs something simple, chat. Oh no, it needs to be... Oh, wine glass, my bad. Uh, more ice. One odd concoction. Two soothing sodas. And then a nice soul glad. Okay. Then he wants a mint leaf. There we go. This blue you mix for me has a certain depth that makes me feel inexplicably at peace. A distinct bitterness, just like my life. Ah. I forgot an old tragedy. What I see is only joy and laughter. <laughs> How capricious happiness can be. Fleeting as the bubbles dancing upon my glass. It vanishes in the blink of an eye. Are you new here? Are you going to bully me? Where is Siobhan? Have you ousted her? Behold, within this spacious lounge, a seasoned drinksmith finds no place to dwell, much like this grand hotel within the dreamscape, where I struggle to find my niche. Oh, where shall my tender, melancholic soul find its abode? Yes, I'm the successor of this lounge. I should just stop daydreaming and snap out of it. I should have known better that we don't deserve something so great. <sighs> sure, Siobhan is great at mixing drinks, but given the location, it's only natural that the lounge remains deserted and unattended. What's the point of being a drinksmith here? There are no customers, no revenue, much like those unwanted concert tickets. And when the curtains are raised, you step onto the stage, only to be faced with a mere handful of people in the audience. It's truly disheartening. Perhaps this lounge will go to business soon. Don't say that. Those words won't bring any luck. Why are you saying that? Is it trying to bully me? That's how it feels. I'm unable to see its future, and I struggle to accept its present. <sighs> Might as well have a few more while I'm here. Please give me a glass of something that exudes brokenness and is refreshing, and add the decoration of Miss Robin to it. Thank you. Interesting. This is the first time I met a customer who cares so much about the decorations. Attempt to do a flare with the glasses. Crash! The glass shatters the piece on the ground. Looks like your skills could use some work. Start preparing your drink! Oh my god! He looks so sad, Chet! Something that makes you feel vulnerable but very refreshing. How do I make you feel vulnerable? Um... Let's give you a big glass. Super size you. So flavor base broken. Slightly bitter and strong than stir. Okay. So that's gonna do the strong. Now we need bitter. Okay. Then we stir. Oh, whoop, I messed up. Damn. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Ah, uh, meal. Or strong. Meal, yeah. There's one that had negative to it. Yeah, this one. Alright, we stir this. There we go. That should make him feel vulnerable. Um, we already have the very refreshing. Um, but we need to go a little bit higher if we wanna. Because I picked the really big glass. So, okay, so. 
We'll do ultimate syrup. We will do... Because that's the zero, yeah. There we go. Beautiful. And then we'll add the Miss Robin ornament. Nice. They say that I have a vulnerable air about me. Very mysterious. It tastes like a cool breeze soothing my restless spirit. Can we give a broken glass to the customer so it feels very broken and vulnerable? <laughs> oh my god, I wish you could. Ha! Huh. Happiness is an elusive treasure, one that needs cherishing, but I drink it all in a single gulp. <sighs> Following the bliss, boundless emptiness once more consumes me. It's time to leave the stage. Surely someone with a life as fulfilling as yours won't even remember me. May we meet again where there is light. Melancholy is melancholic just like its name. Such a pessimistic personality. There we go, chat. We covered him. Depressed, pessimistic, lacking confidence, and cynical towards everything. Melancholy's personality really fits its name. Alright, let's keep serving. Hello there. My friend told me there's a new drinksmith here. That must be you, right? <laughs> Just as I thought. You seem like a fascinating person to chat with. In that case, let me ask you a secret question. Did a, a melancholy customer just leave? Uh, he's indeed melancholic. I'm not talking about his looks. Don't you find his demeanor special? I mean the kind of uh, detachment and iffy vibe. The kind of solitude you'd expect from a genius. It's just fascinating. Ahem. Talking about this topic makes me feel all flushed. Please make me a drink. I'll just order this chewing gum with a little more ice so I can cool down my internal cathode ray tubes. Uh, all right. I should add more, some more ice cubes. Start preparing the drink. Uh, all right. Chewing gum. There we go. Select a supersized glass. All right. Select more ice. Red sunset sauce. Practitioner pepper, huh? Then we stir. Oh, chat, I don't know how this is gonna... This feels like it's gonna be all manner of... Oh, no, it actually looks really nice. I'm actually surprised. And puffer goat milk. What the hell's a puffer goat, by the way? All right, there we go. Um, you know what? No, we look good. We need something classy, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, it's actually supposed to be something specific. My bad. I failed to read! An icy sensation. Ah, feels like the temperature has dipped. This flavor tastes so gentle. I'm moved. Oh, it makes me feel so sweet. I'm drinking it. A tantalizing taste indeed. You must be a seasoned drinksmith who can easily grasp your customer's preferences. By the way, you've only been here for a short while. I wonder if you've noticed that things aren't very peaceful outside the lounge. It worries me too. It always fe I've always felt something creepy lurking deep within the hotel in the dreamscape. But if I want a quiet place, there's not much of an alternative. Uh, it's so frustrating. I can't find a good spot for a date. Why not have your date right here in the lounge? No way! There are too many acquaintances here, and customers could walk in any minute. It's too embarrassing! After some thoughts, the depths of this hotel seems like the best option. As long as I don't go too far, right? Are you dating Siobhan? Are you going to ask me out on a date? <laughs> I'd love to, but let's not rush things. We've just met after all. Ooh la la. Chat, I could be dating a TV. Well, it seems like you've enjoyed discussing embarrassing topics. Ah, it's making me a bit flustered, to be honest. Give me another drink to cool me down some more. This time, I want something dreamy and super thick. And like before, I want more ice. All oh, my circuits are gonna fry. Okay. Would it be more effective if I just place ice cubes on her head? Remove the glass from the ice cube pool. You love the touch of a chilled glass. It can prevent you from being overly irate when dealing with certain customers. <laughs> Alright. 
So we have to pick... Alright. Alright, okay. Um, We'll go with just a large wine glass. More ice. Yeah. Alright, so we need something that's slightly sweet. But strong. There we go. And then we stir... And now we need to make it extra thick. Extra thick, Jet. There we go. No. Yeah. Whoa! An icy sensation. Ah. Uh, by the way, what are their reactions if you go towards any extreme that doesn't fit their preference, like to, uh, doing a very bitter, very sweet when they want something normal? I don't know. I haven't tried that yet, because I want to finish this event, so I'm not going to screw up anything until, like, you know, we're done with this. I'm sure we'll unlock the endless mode, so I can screw around as much as I want. You're a perfect drinksmith, so skilled and caring. This was a great experience. It was nice talking to you. In my opinion, you're almost as great a drinksmith as Siobhan. Impressive, indeed. I'll drop by next time. Please look forward to my arrival. She's probably just as easily embarrassed. Lady's probably the most normal amongst all the monsters that you've come in contact with so far. Record information about Lady. There we go. I haven't met this big one, Starlet. Oh, boy. Mm-hmm. All right, let's resolve some issues, chat. Continue service. Hey! I've come closer. Let's keep this between us. Did a customer in red come just now? Uh, what'd you say? I can't hear you. Uh, hey, keep your voice down. What if she hears it? I actually don't remember the voice I did for this guy. I followed her right through the door of this lounge and watched her come out, so don't try to fool me. What did she talk to you about? What did she mention my name? Uh, she mentioned a melancholic customer. I knew it! I knew it! She just can't get enough of that blasted poet! Is this pretentious library accent so fascinating that she's still holding on to it? Well, forget it. It's not worth getting worked up about such nonsense. Just do your job and get me a drink. Oh, boy. I want something in a large glass that's a little bitter with pretty colors. You know what pretty means? It means a separate layer more clearly. Don't make it all cloudy like dishwashing water. <laughs> Same she doesn't ad uh, address you as darling. That would be kind of neat. He's still so fixated on layering colors. Let's see. A uh, large, slightly bitter. It needs to be two layers. Okay. Um, we'll do no ice. So we need something that's going to give us the bitterness. Then we need something that's not going to affect the bitterness, right? Actually, no, it doesn't matter as long as... Ah. Ah, okay. I, I I see now. I see. Yeah, I do have to mix it because it has to be two layers. Pure. Okay, so. We stir. Mm -hmm. Now this one, we just need to go. Oh. There we are. Intense drinks always bring the kick. The color layering you've chosen is intriguing. Got anything better up your sleeve? I don't know why I'm giving him an accent, by the way, Jet. I'm pretty sure I didn't give him an accent last time. Apologies. Ha! That's more like it. Not many people can satisfy me. Now I'm slightly impressed with you. Oh, hey, I just remembered something. Were you rude to me last time I came here? And did I say, I teach you a lesson? Get ready to pull out your baseball bat. Hey, chill out. I thought about it, and I realized I was a bit too aggressive, and there might be some kind of misunderstanding. I apologize for that, and I hope we can be on better terms. So you'll see, next time that guest comes around, could you put in a good word for me? No need for flattery. Just mention my name more often. <laughs> you'll do me this small favor, won't you? Uh, well, it depends on my mood. Think about it. It's beneficial for you, too. 
If you make me happy, I'll drop by more often, and you'll receive more tips. A great deal, isn't it? You get paid, and I get served. A win-win situation for both of us. Everyone this lousy lounge takes orders from me! What's the point of mixing drinks all the time? Stay on my side, and I'll show you a happy life. My idea is... Nobody refuses my offers, because I'm always right. I refuse. You! You have no idea what's good for you! I should have expected anything from a lonely waiter! Making drinks is the only thing you're good for! Give me something in an extra large glass, very sweet, and take super intense. It's got to have pretty layers! I'm not paying if any of my criteria are not met! <laughs> I don't know why, but this bartending minigame is more entertaining than many games I've watched recently. I'm very glad to hear that, Pedro. Do you think I'd let you leave without paying? Move the mixer first. Huh! Nothing but fluff and flash! Pretty on the outside, useless otherwise! I don't think you're in a position to say this. <laughs> Alright, here we go, chat. Extra large, supersize them. Very sweet! And it has to be three colored layers, huh? Boom. Stir. There we go. Hmm. It's already at max, so this doesn't hurt it whatsoever. We just need to do three color layers, right? Oh, no, it has to be three exactly. Okay. All right, so what we want to do here then is we're going to mix this with this we stir it but yeah i really like the mini games in hsr so far the only one i would say is kind of like i wouldn't say like they're complicated or anything the only one i would say is kind of mediocre is probably the rod may cat one um and not for any like substantial reason it's just it's kind of very easy to like brute force it without actually thinking about the mechanics or this with this one it's like okay follow the instructions but you actually have to kind of like meet the instructions and actually think about okay how do i am i going to get to that number right it's a very simple kind of math equation type thing um and i do like that in this uh this type of event all right and then where's the one that i used earlier the popper goat milk there we go so I do enjoy that about this. There we go. Clocky! The sweetness is just right. I quite enjoy it. Intense drinks always bring the kick. <laughs> there we go. But yeah, so, like, that's the only one I can think of is with the cats and stuff. But the meme potential with the cats was amazing. So I love that event, too. Just, uh, just not as much as the others. Huh. Not bad, but this is not the end. You'll need to serve me until I leave this lounge. Well, I've calmed down a bit. I've almost finished my drink, but I'm not done talking. How long are you intending to work at this lounge? How long do I have to wait if I don't want to see your face again? Until this lane sh uh, shuts down. Whenever you come, I'll be here. The very thought of talking to you annoys me. Fine, I'll show you how to be a competent attendant. Meet me there when you're done. I'll be waiting. I'll be honest, I think I like this voice for him more than whatever I gave him last time. It's still being so rude to me. But I learned a lot about Tin Man through our chat. It should be willing to be honest with me now. There we go. We did it, chat. We got the court ghost, though. Oh, we end service here, do we? I have a meeting to attend. Is that alarm clock waiting for me at the lounge? Oh, no. Oh, no. The lounge is just a few steps away. What took you so long? If I want to get a refill, do I have to wait forever? Check out my watch. You're half an hour behind schedule. And the ice in my glass is already melted. Is something wrong with your timing? <laughs> Is that what you should be asking? The customer is always right, and if you can't even get that, then why are you even here? Honestly, I have no idea what Siobhan taught you. Let me fill you in! Oh boy. Alright, show me what you got. <laughs> Tin Man's VA is knocking out of the park this time, LOL. Well, thank you, Pedro. I'm glad you like it. Uh, let's see. Let's try this. Time to t go TikTok! Oh boy! Watch and learn new blood. This is what a good loud should be like. Oh, God. 
Oh, God. Wait. Were those roses always there? Welcome back, Your Excellency, the esteemed and illustrious Lord TikTok. <laughs> it's almost fortune to have encountered your presence. How shall I extol the sun? Your radiance surpasses the splendor of syrup, and the humble lounge gleams with your arrival. In my heart, you're akin to the... Soul Glad's bottle cap. Without you, the entire bottle Soul Glad. No, all joy would lose its meaning. Wait, that's not how he usually talks, right? Well said, my loyal servant. Now I find myself at a crossroads. Show me the answer through your dance steps that portend the future. Which beverage befits this extraordinary journey? Your will is my command, Your Excellency. Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, the hues of the dyes indicate that the finest beverage shall be handcrafted by the drinksmith over there. The drinksmith over there? Preposterous! She is not but a village girl I found from the inn. You believe an ignorant girl who cannot even trace her lineage to possess the skill to brew the beverage I require? Ha! How intriguing! Hey, bring me! Before the sentence was finished, Mr. Bigwig suddenly ran over from a distance, shouting in alarm. There we go. Master! Terrible news, Master! It's Madam! She's, she's run away again! Where did she go? She's still inside the lounge. Woo. Well, no need to make a commotion. Inform her of my return and request her immediate presence. I told the madam, but she won't listen. She even said the, that. What did she say? She said, she said she's going to be a drinksmith and will never come back. What? How outrageous. I shall personally inquire of her. Fun fact, the full saying of the customer's always right is the customer's always right in matters of taste. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, God. I'm curious. Will that drink really work? This mixing beverage is so much fun that you wouldn't want to go home. Yikes! I beg your pardon. I did not intend to keep it concealed from you. I merely wish to bring you a surprise. I've heard of a skilled drinksmith at the lounge, and I decided to pay homage to your greatness. Hence, I came here intending to learn how to craft delicious beverages. Please, I implore you, do not be angered with me. During your expedition, I gathered numerous accounts detailing your magnificent achievements. Behold, which great hero led the Sweet Dreams troop to triumph against the Trash Can Kingdom? Oh, God. Which hero trampled the presumptuous Tatalov beneath their feet and raised the banner of freedom and equality? We inquire, who is it? The soda, the soda bottles reply, it's his excellency, Marshal TikTok. We inquire, who is it? The billboards reply, it is his excellency, Marshal TikTok. We inquire, who is it? Replies the entire dreamscape. It's His Excellency, Marshal TikTok. Me too, me too. I just wrote a poem for you. Please enjoy it. Behold the renowned General TikTok. In battle invincible, wisdom profound, valiant in skill, the warrior's might, conquering his foe Tatalov with his valorous knight. <laughs> Such adulation! I was unaware that my renown had spread so far and wide, yet it is only befitting. However, let me enlighten you. That drinksmith is unsuitable. She is but an orphan I took in. She may tend to the tables, yet her ability to create anything of interest is doubtful. If you doubt my words, you... G g good evening, Mr. TikTok. Looks like you failed to take heed of the lessons I taught you. When you speak, bow your head, extend your hands, and look up to me. How often have I instructed you to display courtesy to the guests? But have you ever complied? I, I beg your pardon for my transgression. I've newly arrived at the lounge, and I'm unfamiliar with the rules here. I implore your pardon. Hey, something's definitely wrong with her. Just how much are you afraid of Siobhan? <laughs> 
Alas, debating with such an ill-bred servant is a waste of time. Well, bring me beverages and showcase the extraordinary talents of the personal drinksmith in the esteemed service of Sir TikTok, the illustrious one. In truth, upon learning of your return from your expedition, I have prepared a commemorative beverage for your excellency. Not bad at all! Come forth and announce with honor! What shall this glorious beverage be named? The defeated governor. What? Are you being sarcastic? Uh, uh, please, calm your ire. The name was chosen to make a statement, and the beverage was inspired by your resplendent countenance. The black lair at the base signifies a fierce and savage battlefield. The white lair at the top denotes despair, and the blue lair in the middle represents your composure and unyielding resolve. Even when you stand as the sole survivor, you retain the will to forge a path through the darkest wilderness. Well said! Look even the drinksmith I took in is well cultured! Learn from her, my servants! Hey, newcomer! Find a befitting seat for me and bring my beverage! Hurry! Wait, what? I'm receiving a text message in the dream? What is this? Woof! The alarm clock took the bait! It's going to drink the beverage! Thankfully, I'm good at pretending. You almost let it slip. I do want to make it red! I did nothing wrong! Woof! Hey, it's just a rugged piece of metal with a bigger head! It thinks it's nobler than everyone here! Yeah! Knock it flat, and let's play kick the can! I'll get Kalis in here. Javon invited you into the group chat. Come and help us, newbie drinksmith! Ah, how should we deal with it next? I can't wait to start the fun! How fun about how about shoving the stir stick into its spring hole and spinning it hard? I, I, I'm all fired up! Great minds think alike. I've wanted to do this since long ago. Ah, speaking of who can make my heart skip a beat, it's gonna be you! And now the moment for vengeance is at hand. We'll just wait for the curtain to rise. That beverage is on the counter across the room. I've added some special uh, ingredients to it. Make it drunk for a couple of hours won't be a problem. It's time to teach the disobedient child a lesson. However, this is only its imagined world. Your actions may be hindered, but let's play it by ear. <laughs> I like how even in its inner psychological um, dimension, <laughs> this freaking clock monster <laughs> still imagines himself getting overthrown by everybody else <laughs> like i love that all right take away siobhan's drink this must be the drink that siobhan tampered with wait two glasses well i'll take them both oh no oh no chat i can't talk to anybody else serve the drink to the tin man all right, do I poison him or not? Too sluggish! What kind of waiters indulge in cell phones during work hours? Show me some respect! Where are your manners? Show deference in light of my presence! Bring me my drink! Huh? Why two glasses? Can't you even tell the colors apart? I must recall which drink is the one Siobhan specially prepared. Um, is the bottom layer black? Is the bottom layer white? Is the bottom layer blue? Um, bottom layer was black, right, Jet? Is the middle layer blue? Is the top layer white? Yeah. That's the drink. Now I should deliver it. Aha! A beverage of extraordinary taste! This exemplifies the essence of respect and affection! Look at the beverages you mixed before! Could they ever aspire to grace an honored patron's goblet? Wait! Why am I feeling a bit sleepy? Is this drink too potent? But this can't be. I. I... You're awake? <laughs> <laughs> look at that pitiful look on your face. You've been acting all high and mighty here, but guess what? You're just nobody in this lounge. And you had the audacity to call me your wife? Huh? Who in their right mind would marry a fool like you? Definitely not me. Ta-da! Here comes the drama of vengeance! You... you were just playing along, but... Isn't this my dream? So why? I'm the owner of Dream Jolt Whole Story, and I prepared all those drinks. I'm sure you understand now, right? 
Did I treat you too gently before? Have you entered your rebellious phase? How dare you say that you plucked me from an inn? You got some nerve. Siobhan looks so scary when she's angry. I never spoil misbehaving kids. They need to face the consequences. Pampering them is the worst way to teach them. Remember that. I'll leave the rest to you. Just don't go overboard. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. Could you please bring me the stirring stick? I've been wanting to try it for quite a while. <laughs> The subsequent material is not suitable for viewing. This performance ends here. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have bullied other monsters or Dijavan. I was talking nonsense. It was all just a joke. No, stay away from me. Well. <laughs> even his own, even his own inner world. Everyone hates him. <laughs> you know, there's probably some deeper psychological meaning to that, but I'm just going to find that that's all funny. All right. Stay hydrated, chat. <gasps> How's it going, Lord TikTok? It's all my fault. I'm so sorry! The drink you made was tasty, and the whole vibe here was awesome! I'm totally loving this place, and I'll definitely come back again! Well, I'm taking my leave! See you! <coughs> What's making him so scared? Something's not right. I should follow him outside and check things out. Woof! Be careful with the new radio I just found! Don't even think about touching it! <laughs> Don't worry. Look, my hands are puny and feeble. I won't wreck it. I want to hear the sound you made to do. <laughs> It'll be real quick, okay? Hey there, I've come all the way to. Woof! A better birdie is coming! I used to be such an annoying troublemaker. I'm so sorry! Woof! Did I, did I hear that right? That big guy doesn't have a brain, and that's for sure. Just leave it be and have fun! Looks like his problem's resolved for now. Let's hope he gets along with the other monsters in the future, too. New customers are about to arrive. Oh, no! We're finding more people here just chilling in the lounge, I'm noticing. Oh, we got birds, too. Brona. Oh, that's cute. You have the Papeshi. You want to take pictures of the, the the monsters at the bar. Max. Oh. That alarm clock was a pain, but now he seems to be quite prudent when he's calmed down. Almost ready. Time to open for business. All right, let's check it out. I can submit more stuff. Nice. Nice. I love events that give me more resources. Um, yeah, let's try these out now, chat. Let's see if I can deduce some. Yeah, that's not it. There we go. I was like, it had to be one way or the other. Oh, it needs a Papeshi fluff ball. There we go. I love your dog wolf voice. It's funny. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. I was kind of going for like a mixture between like Scooby-Doo and Tigger when I first came up with it. It's like, okay. Woof, woof. Right. 
Now, I'm glad you guys are enjoying my voice acting for this because I'll be honest, <laughs> I'm not a good judge of my own uh, my own skills in that department. Uh, right. All right, so definitely. Well, okay. What's this? Oh, okay. So I think we need this. We stir this. Then we do the ice soul glide. Okay, no. What if I do this, then this? So we stir that, and then we do this. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, how's Tigger voice in English, by the way? Um. God, that's so hard. How do you describe uh, old school? Because I, I don't know if it's changed at all um, since I used to watch the old Pooh cartoons. Um, gosh, that's a that's a weird one to think about. Um, I don't know if I could do the old Tigger voice, but it was it's very deep. Like, oh. Ooh. well, the wonderful thing about Tigger is that Tigger is a wonderful thing, yeah, like something like that, right? Like somewhere down there. I'm not sure. That one's really hard for me to peg because it's such a unique voice in English, right? Like, that actor did such a phenomenal job way back in the, what was it, 50s, 60s, I think? I can recall it. I can't describe it. Yeah, exactly, right? Like, it's super hard for me to, like, pin down, like, that exact cadence. It's something that's so, like, you know, special. It's weird because whenever I try to think about it, that's not it. Uh, whenever I try to, like, think of, like, a way to describe it, no, I think it should be this. Um, I, I I immediately default to like Yogi Bear, and I don't think that's quite right either. Okay, no, it's not this one. Um, no, okay, you know, um, yeah, okay. There we go. Clear that. Let's try this first. It's crazy to me the order of what you pour them in actually does affect the the slight coloration and stuff. I do find that kind of neat about this. There we go. Yeah, it's really hard for me to describe. I don't know if I could pin it down, but that was what I was going for. I was trying to find somewhere between, like, Tigger and Scooby-Doo, where it's like, you know, scooby doo -be doo right? So I wanted to do that, but go a little bit, you know, add a little bit more, like, character there, so it's not just kind of, like, deep and kind of slurred. So it's like, woof! Welcome there! Woof! Woof! Yep. And there we go. All right, so we have to deal with more monsters, but then we'll have this unlocked. Coolio. Um, like I said, we're done here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're almost there. This is not a very long event once we uh, once we get started. Nine deductions. That's cool. Um, this stuff though is gonna still take more. Yeah, we're close though. The bottom part. Yeah, yeah. It all, the stirring only affects the section of which you're stirring. It's the way... They, it also lets you keep certain flavors permanent and stuff. Anyway, now moving up to here. You know, we can't understand each other. Despite our efforts to communicate, our paths are destined to remain apart. If that's the case, what purpose does language serve? Is our desperate cry for understanding merely an exercise in futility? Tell me, Strange Strength Smith, did you hold an answer? Many things are doomed to futility. Oh, seeking answers to such questions is akin to waiting at a station for a ship that will never arrive. Let it go. Let's simply have a drink. Only the warmth of that liquid can offer solace to my tormented soul. Please give me a small glass of tears. I just wish to quietly savor the intense bitterness that life had brought me. If you happen to, and I do mean happen to, have some decorations that can ride me of the audience back at the theater, please put it on. I'd like to see it. Thank you. Uh, Loki, when we get to inscription, when I find a good opening my schedule, plus I want to take my computer in probably because I want more hard drive space. A decoration that represents Pentagony. I'll have to pick one carefully. Activate the Drinksmith Simulator! <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
It doesn't have to be much. Yeah, that works. Um. Okay. I just need to put one more, huh? There we go. There we go, chat. Uh, I'm actually kind of curious. Nah, Chad, I, I could do better than that. We do this. We do this. We stir it. Again, this is completely pointless, by the way, Chad. I'm doing this purely. I'm doing this purely for flavor. We have to keep the aesthetics. Representing Peniconians. Robin. Boom. Wait, what do you mean it's not going to satisfy? Really? An Intellitron? Or a Papeshi? Wow, fine, fine. A distinct bitterness, just like my life. This drink is too intense, but it's just what I need. Oh, yeah, I forgot about your computer. Yeah, my computer, it, it needs to really go in and get an upgrade in terms of hard drive space. A wondrous masterpiece! Your hands possess an enchanting touch, effortlessly mending the worlds within me. <sighs> Passion emotions are transient. The glass is empty, yet the void in my heart remains unfulfilled. Thankfully, this delightful drink has made us acquaintances. You know, before I came to this lounge, I was a struggling actor relegated to countless minor roles, plagued by desolation. No direction, no income, and no self-esteem. Regrets have permeated my life. Do you think I could still discover happiness? If you have to get an answer, then it's no. <sighs> You've spoken truthfully about life. More often than not, the questioner already holds an answer in mind before asking the question. I'm like a character in a play, confined to mimicking the words of others. I can't change this situation or myself. The past continues to haunt me. Even in this paradise, the dreadful nightmare persists, and the sadness within me never fades. I'm not something a few drinks can wash away, but uh, do go on. Uh. <sighs> it's impolite to expose my wounds without permission. It's better to share sorrows, experience joys, and bid farewell appropriately. Better make an order first. Please give me something in a large glass as thick as you can make it, and takes a feel a little intense. More importantly, a little more love, please. What's the love you mentioned? Once, I was fervently obsessed with plays. Dreams woven from vibrant costumes and makeup. Unfortunately, my love became lost in the past. Hmm. Based on its habits, it probably means it wants a decoration related to cartoon characters. Attempt to do a flare with the glasses. Crash! The glass shatters to pieces on the ground. Looks like your skills could use some work. Listen, chat, I'm trying. I'm trying here. I'm trying to become a fancy drinksmith. Would imagine a character named Melancholy would be an alcoholic. Listen, these are all just sodas, chat. Sodas. It's not alcohol. We are not getting people drunk. We're not getting underage monsters drunk. All right, fancy. Make him remind him of the stage, the class. No ice. Actually, no, no, no. Wait, we have to. We have to restart this. We have to restart this. He needs. No, wait. We have to restart this. There we go. Oh, is this uh? Uh, let's. There we go. Going back to here. I made a mistake, chat. All right, we need the large wine glass, yes. But what we need is more ice because his life is purely suffering. I still can't believe they put physics for this. It it boggles my mind that this has actual physics to it. Anyway, I, I swear, when the devs mentioned on the live stream how they all like got drunk at like a bar and they really had like a lot of fun there, I have to imagine like it was one one damn good bar night because <laughs> they put some extra efforts into this stuff. Beautiful. 
Oh, I haven't conducted all the steps. What do you mean? Oh, I have to get... Oh, my mistake, Jet. My mistake. Um. There we go. The character in the story all get a happy ending. What about me? Ah, oh, this drink is too intense, but it's just what I need. By the way, kind of curious what the specs of your computer look. It's nice to have some more storage space in. Uh, uh, and don't worry about lacking enough storage space. No, no, no. No, no. I, 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 uh, I definitely need to get an upgrade there. I have only a terabyte, and that terabyte's almost full. It's, that's what you get, chat, when you take, like, a hundred screenshots of Aldrich. <laughs> I have so many screenshots. It took up so much of my space. I'm amazed my Elden Ring is, my Elden Ring screenshots the past few months haven't filled us to the brim, but... Yeah, the thing is, I need to uh, add another three terabytes to my hard drive and um, put the current stuff on a separate terabyte so it doesn't get in the way of... Um... I want all my game data on, like, the larger hard drive on the back end so that way we don't have to worry about this stuff for a long time in the future. I'll be able to have all my smaller stuff on the smaller hard drive for the one terabyte so that way um, we're always going to have, like, plenty of space so we're not going to deal with any problems but then also while i take the computer in i also look into upgrading its graphics card and stuff like tax season's coming and going right so um once that's done and that's out of my hair i don't have to worry about the irs breathing down my neck anymore i'll definitely be uh take my pc in sometime uh we'll take like a week or so however long it takes them off and we'll have them do the upgrades and stuff so that way they can uh they can help give me uh maybe a better processor i hope i don't have to replace the motherboard because you know that's going to screw so many things up but, um, yeah, we'll have a hard drive. We'll have hard, we'll have a new hard drive for sure. We'll probably upgrade the graphics card to something newer so that way it'll last at least a good while, and that'll be it. Loki's Ultras' number one fan. Also a huge Godric fanboy. Yep, you're right, Chet. I, I do love me. I do love me my villains. Oh, time! Cease your march! This drink is so exquisite, and yet I yearn to savor its flavor for the remainder of my days. Despite the sorrow clouding my heart, your kindness and drink-mixing mastery have deeply impressed me. <sighs> Farewells always carry a tinge of bitterness, but please do not lament our encounter. Melancholy's mood doesn't seem to be getting any better, but it feels like a trust in me has deepened. All right, let's record some information. Who doesn't like a sludge monster digesting a femboy? Peak character design. God, just peak character, period. Oh, again, I, I keep repeating this. Um, splitting Sullivan and Aldrich into two separate characters was the best decision Miyazaki made during the development of Dark Souls 3's narrative. Dark Souls 3 narrative is so much better by making that decision than if they tried to keep it all into one um, composite character. It just it, it it would be so bland and boring and in comparison, right? Like, it's just so much more interesting the dynamics at play when you have them se as separate parties with their own individual interests that they can align but they can intersect and come to clash like it's just it's so good hey cookie underscore sweetie welcome to the chat i play this game too coolio i've been enjoying it immensely i hope it's the same for you oh yeah sully's a perfectly written character in my opinion yeah exactly I mean, just aldrich and sullivan are just so much better as they are individually and just think about that chat like originally like um, originally, yeah, it literally was, Aldrich was just Sullivan, like, they, they just had, they were just one, they were just one character in Irithyll, and then, um, they moved the final boss and made him Sullivan and completely rewrote everything, like, it was, it's so good. I'm level 22. Oh, cool, so I think you're about the level you could do the Argenti and Silverwolf quests. Those are some really good companion missions, so, um, look forward to doing those if you haven't done them already. Alrighty, so we're done here, chat. Alright, continue service. Hello there. Here we meet again. Um, that melancholic customer just left. <laughs> Why so serious? You've been a drinksmith for quite a while, and I'm sure you know better than to speak your mind. Well, I came to see you because I heard something interesting and wanted to share with you. Well, if you're not interested, then forget it. Oh, I love gossip. <laughs> Great, but I'm feeling a bit thirsty now. Could you make me a drink first? I really like the story in this game. Agreed. I really love HSR's uh, storyline and plot. Mm, this time, I want an uplifting drink. No, sorry. I want an uplifting and refreshing drink that I like. Uh, don't add too much ice. I've been feeling under the weather recently. I remember she used to ask for a lot of ice cubes. She doesn't need ice cubes this time because she hasn't brought up any embarrassing topics. Huh. Let's start preparing the drink, Chuck. 
All right. So we need to mix that stuff. We're gonna need three layers, so. Let's give her the fancy glass. Less ice. Again, it, it, the physics. I, who? Like, uh, do you have, uh, do you have the new character? Uh, which new character? Do you mean Acheron? If so, no. I am skipping Acheron. I have no interest in her. If you mean Aventurine, who's about to come out, obviously not yet, but I will be getting him. Um... Alright, let's start. Oh, that's a beautiful red chat. And now we need to add something refreshing. Huh. Mm -hmm. And then we need to get the thickness up. Or down, I should say. I think that'll work. Oh, you chose a red drink. Was it something about me that inspired you? Oh, it makes me feel sweet after drinking it. Oh, I might save up. Um, for adventuring, you mean, or? Because if so, yeah, I would recommend it, especially if you're relatively new to the game, because um, having a five-star sustain unit, uh, especially a preservation unit like a venturing, is really going to be good to have on your account. Um, this tastes amazing. You still understand me so well. If only you could stay here forever by my side. Well, now that I've finished my drink, it's time to share that interesting story with you. Actually, I stumbled upon Javon's secret by chance. Care to explain? I was wandering around the hotel in the dreamscape when I spotted a gorgeously dressed lady searching for something. It's rare to come across an outsider in this place, so I followed her a while. Then I overheard her murmuring something like... She wanted to hang out with Siobhan, but had been turned down multiple times. So, she decided to come straight to the lounge. She even said Siobhan would definitely accept her offer this time. It's as if they'd known each other for ages. If you were in that lady's shoes, would you keep trying to contact Siobhan? I wouldn't give up until I got what I wanted. That's what I like about you. I should have the same attitude. I'm sharing this with you because I'm also holding on to many secrets, and I'm hesitant to reveal them. But then again, I'm too timid, and those words do get stuck in my throat and swallowed back. <sighs> Shall I ask him out and boldly express my feelings to him? Seize the chance while you have it! <sighs> That's not that simple. I'd like to bother you to make a drink that is very slightly bitter in a small glass. As it tastes really mellow, just a little ice will do. Just like my current mood. Upset. Is she worrying about something related to melancholy? Let's start by making ice cubes. You spend plenty of energy trying to chisel the ice into a neat cylindrical shape only to find that it won't fit in the glass. <laughs> Listen, Chad, I'm trying here. All right, a small vintage glass. She's upset, Chad. We have to keep that in mind. All right, oh, less ice. <laughs> God, I love it. Just one little cube. It feels bitter, Chad. It feels very, very bitter. Um... Don't worry, Brother Hanu's got you. You put the right amount of ice anymore and I'd have a hard time. This flavor tastes so gentle, I'm moved. <laughs> red drink color if she's upset. Yeah, she apparently likes red. I guess, I guess she's just really vain like that. Fantastic! This drink is exactly what I wanted. You truly understand me best. Talking to you has made me feel so much better. 
It seems your talent for conversation matches your skill in mixing drinks. If only I could chat with him as effortlessly as you do. Uh, nevertheless, I must take action. I'll come up with a plan. Wait for my good news. Oh, boy. Oh, no. Lady decides to find melancholy. Hope the conversation just now can help it make up its mind. It was quite willing to share its inner thoughts with me. Let's record information. There we go. We're done, Jit. There we go. We have now both of their corks. We can do this, Jit. We can play matchmaker. No other customers now. I'm a bit tired. Let's call it a day. <laughs> uh, did someone just breathe on me? What's happening? A real person here? I thought Siobhan put a drink mixer here. Do I look like a drink mixer to you? Yeah, right. You can even find talking billboards in the dreamscape. Who knows if you're a real person or not. There's a noisy dice and a stupid alarm clock. Once you've seen too many animated objects, you'll circle to tell them apart from real people. So what brings you here? Drinks, of course. Didn't Siobhan tell you? Give me a glass of Paper Moon. Since you want to be a drinks video, let's see what you're made of. Uh, uh, you're a big shot at the lounge, I guess? There's no status differences here, but it's true that I usually take care of the others. I want a glass of Paper Moon, don't forget. His words always imply something. Siobhan never mentioned that Starlet could be so difficult to get along with. Let's start preparing the drink. Roses are red, wine is not blue, I'm quite shy, my gossip is quite true. That's a good one. Paper moon, huh? All right. Mini wine glass. Less ice. Ice old wine. Blossom dew. And puffer goat milk. Boom. There you go. And then a papeshi. <laughs> I always like to imagine we've killed a papeshi and skinned them of their fluff balls on their heads. <laughs> Have it experienced it's a refreshing flavor in a long time. Strong drinks are what I need now. I love it. In every sip sweetness. Right, well, I'll read the full one next time. Not bad at all. Now I see Siobhan did find someone decent to take her place. What did Siobhan tell you? To fix us up? You've been working here for a while, so what do you think of those monsters? Uh, they're all pretty interesting friends. They're all pretty close family members. Are you excluding yourself? I know exactly what I am, and I don't need you to remind me. They look pretty unique. Although they're a bit eccentric and have their own emotional problems, they can be quite adorable once you get used to them. Is that what you're thinking now? Uh, you won't believe anything I say anyway. Forget it! You want to give an answer even if I asked. Humans are all good at lying, and their words don't hold any water. You, you were the one who asked first, right? Huh! Make me another drink. In an extra large glass, dreamy, with a thick texture. Is this request too difficult for you? Feels like he's not just here for a drink, but more like testing me. Activate the drink simulator! A poor Pepeshi was left genderless to produce this beverage! <laughs> That's right, that is like kind of their equivalent of like a sexual organ or something, right? It makes them all horny. <laughs> All right, so we need uh, extra large. Yeah, there we go. Flavor-based, dreamy, huh? Not gonna worry about the ice. It needs to be slightly sweet, but strong. And we need to stir it. So, we'll go sweet. Um, yeah, this will do. And strong, then we stir it. And now we make it extra thick. Yeah, I can do this. I can do this, chat. Yeah. So. What's gonna give us that? Boom. And then. Yeah. I didn't particularly enjoy bitterness, but I got to hand it to you. The way you balanced it isn't half bad. Beautiful, chat. Do you see that black molasses? That is my soda. 
It is indeed the flavor I was hoping for. Your drinks me skills are more impressive than I expected. Well, making great drinks is not all about managing this lounge. There are way more problems to deal with here than you expected. Soon you'll know what I mean. Starlet's behaving normally. It just doesn't seem to like me. There we go. There we are. We got them all, chat. Are we gonna... Oh, no, we don't have her right now. Being a drinksmith is actually exhausting. How did Shabon manage to keep at it for so long? Huh? We still have the lounge. Oh. Here it comes. Oh, hey! Cielo! Or Cielo. Alright, what's happening here? Well, hey there. It's a bit awkward, but I need to ask you a favor. I'm the most caring drinksmith here. Oh, I'm really fond of your gentle type. Alas, if only he could be as caring as you are. It's, well, it's. I have no idea why. Oh, sorry. <coughs> sorry, I need, a, I need a drink. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, uh, I have no idea why she asked me to stay here. This is just depressing. Why is it always me? Uh, I don't know. That wasn't quite the voice, was it? There are so many. Uh, there are so many other monsters. But she asked me to sit alone in this corner after business hours. Is she trying to bully me or something? And tomorrow she'll go around spreading my embarrassing story and ostracize me, right? Like, come on, you actually thought the receiving a note meant something was confessing their love to you? Or, that fool actually fell for it. Did you see the nervous and expected look on his face? Priceless. <sighs> What's the point of making such jokes? I'm not trying to bully you. I, I just want to. <laughs> What's going on here? I should talk to them separately and find out what they really think. I'm not gonna lie, doing the, the voices for these two is killing me. I'm not sure if I could do the same highs for Melancholy that I could do before. It's... it's... you know... I... I want to ask him to hang out, but I don't know how to go about it. Just be awesome, tell him how you feel. I'm good at chatting with people I don't care about, but when it comes to someone I do... How can I say something so embarrassing? Oh, what a heart-rending story. Yikes! Are you being jealous or something? Think about it. All the monsters here like you. Isn't it amazing to have so much happiness all at once? They do. I'm just... Well, I'm just used to saying things that make people blush. But when it comes to the moment of truth, I just can't speak out what I really want to say. Hey there. Don't you have somewhat awesome powers? Could you dive into my heart and see what's blocking me? Uh, sure. All right, we'll try it, chat. There we go. Oh, some problems with Persona 1. I see. Yeah, localization has always been a problem. It's not a new issue. Just the specific problems have changed, though some things seem to have always stayed the same. Every time I see them, I get super nervous. <sighs> you just gotta be straightforward, lady. Hello, my lady. I reveal my true feelings so easily, but I seem too impatient. No, no, girl, it's fine, it's fine. Just freaking let me clock off. <laughs> Listen, I'm just doing my 9 to 5. <laughs> Actually, I'm pretty sure barkeeps don't work 9 to 5, I, I had to guess. My heart is pounding. I want to chat with them, but the words won't come out. I keep wondering, but never get an answer. I want to be reassured. Man, I haven't used the baseball bat in a while, chat. Finally, I got up the courage to invite them to stay in the lounge. Yeah, you do it, girl. You go claim your man. Ah, what 
should I do? Can't even utter a word. Ah! You found my true heart. You're pure and innocent deep down. It's easy to get hurt if you just tell others what's in your heart. Anyway, thanks for helping me figure out my true feelings. I won't run away anymore. God, what a diva. There you go. Alright, now we have to deal with this other guy. <laughs> Rise, you don't out yourself as a chatterbox. <laughs> but yeah, she uh, she's definitely the type where she, it's, uh, she's definitely a bit more kind of the vain type inside, right? Like she really she she has this clammy shyness to her, but she's also like all about me. It's so frustrating. Why do they make fun of me? Isn't there already enough sadness in the world? Ah. What the world? I had nowhere to go, and now I've finally found a peaceful place. They want to bully me. <laughs> Stop crying already! <laughs> I know it's awkward, but I can't just shake off my grief. <laughs> I gotta figure out a way to calm him down. Let's delve into his inner world. Alright. Tick tock! Let's go! Nobody likes me. I'm just a standing joke. I'm feeling so cold, so lonely. I tried to disappear only to realize that no one cares at all. Alrighty, let's uh, let's do this, chat. There we go. Alright. Um. There we go. There we go. Let's go bounce your ball to the ball. There we go. Huh? Someone's coming over. See, I'm coming for you. M Mr. Drinksmith, how did you get here? Wherever you are, I'll find you. You, an ordinary person. You're my superhero. It's so touching. <laughs> Oh. I'm not feeling so sorrowful anymore. Look, even my wings are starting to flutter. Life feels full of joy since I met you. The tragedy is finally ending, and the comedy is about to begin. Embrace your new life, then. By the way, Lady said she had something for me. She wouldn't be trying to put me. No, no, I should stay positive. I've got to remind myself that everyone likes me. Maybe not to that extent. <laughs> yeah, let's go toward the sweet future. Oh, sorry. I think I'm, 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 I'm slowly moving into giving poor Melancholy an accent he didn't have before. My bad. My bad. Yeah, we unlock some more stuff. <coughs> then I'll take my leave, all right? Thank you. You've been so kind. All right, enough with the public display of affection. <laughs> a gentle person like you will be popular wherever you go. If you ever feel lonely, I'll ask you out next time. Ah, let's see. But for now, please give us your blessing. God, I love H2O chat. Not long after the lounge had returned. Oh, no. Not long after the lounge had returned to calmness, cries for help suddenly came from nearby. I'm not inviting you. Yikes! Please, someone help us! That cry for help is coming from outside the lounge? What's going on here? Actually, wait a second, chat. Wait, wait a moment. Well, well, listen, chat, listen. I'm just getting my upgrades, you see. I'm just doing what's absolutely necessary. This is very important, chat. It's very important that I get all this done.
what? Okay. No. Yeah, I do not know how. Oh, you know what? I bet, I bet you it's the soothing soda. Oh, she's gonna give me a hit. No, chat. I can do this. I can do this, chat. I don't need Shabon to tell me how to do it. I can. I can figure this out. I can. Pro I promise you. I can do this. Okay, babe. I'm a little lost. Okay. Wait. 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 No, I, I chat. Loki, Lo, what do you mean, Loki? Chat, chat. I did. Was this not exactly what I did, chat? Was this not exactly what I did the first time? Did I not fill to the brim, just going down the line? Also, uh, that's cool to know, Raiji. Thanks for the fun fact. <laughs> like, come on! I, I, I could have swore I did this. <laughs> did I not? Obviously not. No, I, I had to. Clearly, it's not me that's the problem. It's the game that's the problem. <laughs> Here I am. I'm like. Okay, I had to have mixed up something at the bottom, right? Because that's the only one where you had two layers where it could have possibly mixed with something. <laughs> Apparently, I just missed something when I was going down the conga line. <laughs> Alright. Let us begin our deduction. Alright, um. No. That looks like it might be right. Um, beautiful. And then we got hamster ball night. What a weird anti-Loki bug! Yeah, I know. The game is prejudiced against me. I need to file a complaint for Hoyoverse. Get a class action started. All Lokis in the world deserve to be given equal rights. Don't that look nice? <laughs> <sighs> Alright, I can do this one, chat. Okay, um, let's try this. Boom! Operation Dream Punk Drink Smooth. Uh, technically you did, but the game warned you that you can't advance the next step. Meanwhile, your story are just adding components, I think. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, so I just pressed the button too quick. That's what happened, and I was like, oh, wait, why? I should See, this is the problem, chat. I don't read. I write, but I don't read. <laughs> Alrighty. Boom. Banger. Boom. I'm a god. Boom. I, okay, so that's finished. Um, we still have a few more of these to do. And soon, when we have everything done, receive a total of 13 customers, we'll get to choose our, our four star. I'll be honest, chat, I don't know who I'm picking. Um, I don't own Shui. I don't own Gallagher. I have uh, E5 Misha. Max, 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 Max. And then I E2. I'm not doing Yukong. Yukong, I'm a va I know there's going to be a banner soon that I'm going to probably be trying to pull for that'll have Yukong on it. I'm sure of it. 
Um, same thing with Shuei. I'm very confident Shuei is going to be coming back soon. Because Hanya's already come back. Um, Shuei is about time that she came back. Um, Misha. Uh, I am building Misha, but I don't know if I want his E6. I think Gallagher. Because I don't know when Gallagher's coming back. And it would be cool to have him there. So I just have to worry about getting him to E6. Or at least E4 or something, right? Um, Shuei, I'm not going to be building for a while. Because there's just like... I don't need a quantum DPS that involves breaks because I don't have a lot of, um, I, I it just, I get, I really want to have her. I, I just, I'm not in a position to have her right now. That's my thing. Also, I haven't seen anything online about her, uh, voice corrections. They were supposed to come out with this patch, but I didn't see any videos or anything for it when I looked it up. So I'm really curious if like, just nobody's like noticed any changes or if like they really only change like story stuff and she's still using her higher pitched voice for, um for battle lines and stuff. Which would disappoint me if that's the case, as I was hoping um, they would make it all consistent. Uh, I think we're gonna get Gallagher. Again, it's possible if, like, um... Yeah, I think we're gonna get Gallagher. Shui, I'll just get passively, because I'm not gonna focus on her for a while anyway, even if I do start. But, like, eventually I will get to her, right? Eventually that's gonna happen. <laughs> There we go. I have so many achievements we still need to get through, chat. All right, one done. Boom. Look at that, chat. Beautiful. More crafting materials and more trace materials. So that's, um, I think that's eight. Um, that's eight more purples. So that's eight more purples to go toward my, uh, my Aventurine, uh, upgrades. You advocate for equal rights for Lokis, but mentioning either a lizard or an Albanoric and equal rights goes out the window. Listen, there's a difference between Lokis and Albanorics and lizard. I thought it would be self-evident, Pedro. Lokis are people. Lizards and Albanorics aren't people. They don't have rights. Duh. My goodness me, what is education nowadays like? Like, do they not teach you this in school? Obviously not, because lizards deserve to rule the world and more love. Who doesn't love a cute snake, man? Ugh. We got one of those, chat. One of those scaly lovers. Get him out of here. <laughs> uh, where the hell am I going? Downstairs, right? Uh, sure, yep, here we go. Surprised I heard that all the way down here. Wait, what? I did hear that, right? Uh-huh. Oh, did I ever... Uh, by the way, Chad, I need to double-check. Do Light Pavilion. I'm still missing a chest here. Oh my god, that's gonna bug me. Um, Chat, we're gonna take a break from uh, the event for a second so I can do this shit. Where is this last chest? Is it a trotter or a trash can? Like, what am I missing here? Oh, you know what? I don't remember checking in here. see anything in the prayer room. Kafka. Kafka. Yeah. <laughs> so only humans can have rights. We should actualize it to include other Welcome. species, so now they should be called to recognize creatures' rights. No, we already have a term for that. We call it human rights. <laughs> Duh. Human rights only pertain to humans. Lokis are, in fact, a subset of humans. Uh, 
Although, for all you know, chat, I could be a lizard. No, 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 no. No, that'd be slander. How could you ever mistake me for one of those awful scalies? Okay, yeah, I'm seeing nothing else, chat, so I think it has to be in this room. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but... I refuse to believe. Nope. Nope, you didn't see anything. We did everything for this, right? There shouldn't be anything else here. If I can't find it here, chat, then it has to be um, a quest thing. And if so, then that means we have to talk to more people in this area and elsewhere. See if, um, see if a chest ever comes up. Oh. Holy hell. Holy finger beans, Batman. Um, this way? Perhaps? Um, uh, no. That's not what I wanted at all. Alright. Moving this way. We're heading back. Uh -huh. Alright, it's not here as far as I can tell, chat. Where is that last chest then? Because I've checked out both of these areas and I've cleared them out, I'm pretty sure. Um, unless it's in Sunday's room somewhere that I did not look before? I don't think so. Um, it might also be that bird. I still have to get that bird that's apparently inside the sand pit, so... No, sir, you have nothing you can do for me. Yeah, there's no one else here. There's no trotters or anything that I can interact with. <sighs> Alright, um... Uh, Clocky's done, right? So, how many, uh, Clocky credits do we have? I could probably check my inventory, but let's do it from here. Busier places need busier business. Wipe them off, face, buddy! Uh, 3.30. Um, we need a lot more. We definitely can earn a lot more. I also remember there's an NPC thing here that we... I remember, because we did the whole... The whole, is that guy cheating Please or not thing. Let's see. I heard the Ace Gambler is here to settle a score with the family. Come on, how can you believe such a cliched story? Besides, you don't know if he's actually the Ace Gambler. Anyway, I saw him at the Dream's Edge, followed by some bloodhounds. Just stay out of it, it's none of your business. Oh. Dream's Edge, huh? Go looking then. Don't see any ace gambler here. Or here. Okay. So he's not in this section. Uh, how about here?
But you know, I did check uh, by uh, Firefly's base. I was trying to look around to see if maybe there's an area I missed, but... Oh. Oh. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just blind chat. Okay, listen. I looked here too. I was like, ah, is he here? Is he here? Nah. <laughs> I was like, well, Snow White's spawn right next to him. Oh, well, it's you again. What are you looking at? You'll never see an injured person before. It's just a broken arm. Nothing serious. Or I guess those bloodhounds still have some humanity about them. At least they didn't kill me outright. Otherwise, I'd be just another pile of scrap metal lying about. Come help me up. <clears throat> My ankle is broken too. Man, this hurts. Those bastards. Uh-huh. The bloodhound family did this? Who knows what's going on in their minds? The family invited me to take part in a life or death gamble before it even started. Someone messed up my hand! I can forget about pulling any of my special tricks. I don't think I could even hold the card straight now. <sighs> they can't beat me in a game, so they resort to underhanded tricks. I see this is the level of the master of this beautiful dream. This world is really going to hell. Loki, are you even using your uh, your eyes listen, listening, Xavier? I don't have eyes on the side of my head. Only the front. Oro's gold in Spanish, by the way. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Yeah, you can tell from his big chrome dome. Well, I guess more like gold dome. Uh. <laughs> he does it because he he did because he uses six cents normally. Yeah, th thanks for the thanks for the defense, Raishi. Uh, what exactly do you need? Wait, wait. Did I did I read that? My friend, look, we have run into each other many times. That means we are fated. Would you be willing to help me? Why am I making everyone have a Russian accent lately? Uh. Must be just how I feel today, Chad. I guess I'm feeling Russian. <laughs> uh, the betting deadline is coming up. And even with this battered up body, I have to take part. Before that, take this. Don't worry. There are parts that fall off of my body. Keep them in your pocket. And don't tell anyone. Uh, sure, I'll help you. You received a fragment from the Ace Gambler that shines with a metallic luster. It seems completely unremarkable. There's not much of, to be said about it. Uh, as you are a charitable and altruistic soul, you place that fragment into your pocket. I'll be honest, I, I thought this would be a simpler continuation, but whatever. Take it as a lusky mascot. The finger of the ace gambler is very precious. Trust me, you can't go wrong. If you are ever low on money, take it to Ferdinand in the Golden Hour. He's a scrap pots dealer. He'll give you a good price when he sees this. All right, the last gamble is over there on that random item machine. You must come and watch. I'll be waiting. If you've got nothing else to do around here, then get going. There are a lot of patrols around here, so we don't want you to be seen. Take care of yourself. Alright. I bet you this is how he does uses it to cheat. They say go to Ferdinand, right? I think Ferdinand's over here. Loki drinky again. What are you talking about, I man? I ain't drunk. Busier places mean busier business. I don't drink. Hold on to it, and it'll be useful someday. Mm -hmm. Everything for sale. Uh, -huh. uh nope, nothing there. He mentions Ferdinand, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do besides that. This is what happens chat when I don't read. Um, do I do something here? Hey, Nancy. <laughs> Sure, I haven't bought my week's worth of ID tokens. You never know, chat. Oh, that's why. All right, let's see what a uh, good old let's see what good old Oro has to say. Looks pretty tense over here. Maybe I should just watch from the sidelines for now. Three are of the same symbol. You lose. Uh, how is that possible? How can someone get three of the same symbol five times in a row? Those odds are basically impossible! Just five? Give me a chance and I'll pull it off 50 times for you. You were unfortunate to come against me. Alright, time to pay up. Be good and hand it over. Ugh! Come with me. Alone, no weapons. Huh. If you got the guts, I'll give you what you want. I want to see if this so-called ace gambler really is as all-powerful as the legends say. Let's see if you really can't beat anyone. Fine, lead the way. My great friend, you came! 
Thank you so much for your help before. If I get a chance, the summer glide is on me. I have other business to take care of, so I'll cut the pleasantries. Take care, good luck. Play five times in a row, chat. Damn. Only a big prize. Oh, what's this? The grand prize awarded by Dreamy Slots, but there are no instructions on how to use it. Well, for those who've read this far, it's unsightly to give you no hints. Let me tell you the secret. It's a room. <gasps> oh my god! Wait, chat. Chat. Drink and dance and death don't lie. Okay, listen, listen, listen. Ch listen, I bet you have to understand. When I mean drink, I mean soda. You know, like normal drinking. You know, drinking, you know, carbonated beverages. There's no alcohol involved. This is Pentacone. We don't drink in Pentacone. Just like there are no children in Pentacone. There's just Papeshi. They're completely different. Yo, check this out! The first ever guest in Golden Hour to be blessed by the lucky party god is here! Uh, sounds fabulous. Give me my prize now. Don't be so impatient, my friend! Right here, right now, you're the shiniest lucky star across all 12 hours of the dreamscape! You see- <coughs> Oh, well, bless me! <laughs> the Robin is a hidden prize mechanism recently installed in Dreamy Slots, and you're the first lucky winner to get three Robins in a row! To celebrate your luck and, um, uh, blessing, allow me to present to you this Lucky One's black card. Can I, have so uh, can I have something more practical? Um, it's arranged that way so that you can feel the excitement of winning a prize as well as enjoy the process of discovering the use of the card. Yes, that's the concept. Uh, I have to read that in description, right? That's an old trick. I'm glad you catch my drift. That's right, we always do things here the old school way. Well, please keep up the Lucky One's black card. Now you're free to do whatever you want. Uh, I'll get out of your hair. Dancy leaves with a crestfallen look. Apparently your conversation with him has sapped him of his enthusiasm. I'm loving this game. Oh, I love this game. I really do. Okay, did I hear you rewrite you drink with the O dog? <laughs> that explains a lot. Listen. What is wrong with drinking... We're the man of cult, well, man, quote unquote, a great one of culture, right? I mean, come on. Don't we all, at some point, just feel that urge? Busier places mean busier business. There we go. Uh, one peach soul glad? Why isn't there a sugar free soul glad? <laughs> Basically, wants everybody peg. Uh, uh, Ivan, I, I, I don't think that's the word you were going for. Okay, yeah, we both want this one. Wait. Oh, it's this one. Okay. We both want that one and that one. Finally, the last door, chat. The last door. You know how long I've been waiting for this one to finally be open? I'm glad we actually did this now. Uh, your intuition tells you there must be an incredible secret behind this door. Your intuition tells you the lucky guy's black card is the key to this door. Oh, well, that won't fool anyone. You've never really had those thoughts. You find this door solely relying on your random guesses and the symptom prompts. Swipe the card to open the door now. <laughs> they know, chat. They know. Red balloons fill the entire room, symbolizing the fiery passion of roses. You reach out and stand on your tiptoes, trying to pluck your own little bundles of happiness. Success! You grab the tip of the balloon and grasp it firmly in your hand. There are countless balloons in this room, after all. Who would begrudge you taking one for yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Nothing for the phone. Alright, let us investigate. Wait, what am I? Oh, I actually have explored all the chests here, so I I'm actually kind of curious what this could possibly give us. There's a voice recorder here. You press the play button. What the Papeshi pro- Oh, what the Papeshi profanity? Who asked you to set up this room in this Papeshi profanity way? We wanted a prize room, you hear me? Not a love hotel room. Profanity. Why didn't you say so earlier? By the time your request came in, the procurement dot deadline had long passed. Without clear instructions, I can only do things my way. How can you blame me for that? Profanity. 
The recording comes to a sudden halt. You think there's a 60% chance that the two had a fight in this room. Gold limited ID token. This shiny gold token appears to hold great value and could potentially be exchanged for an incredible super jackpot, but nobody in the golden hour knows how to use it. Nevertheless, remember the words. Promising future. Oh. You often say that there's a price behind every gift. When it comes to this room, perhaps the price is romance. Gifts that have not been fully opened are stacked here, waiting for those qualified to open them. People want the Yeah, yeah, we get that. Okay, it looks like there's nothing else there, just those two. Probably Bloodborne messed with my mind. Yeah, you went insane, I man. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> also, awesome. Alright, chat. So I'm thinking. It's been two hours, chat. So I'm thinking. I want to finish this event today. And we're very close. But my voice feels like it is gonna give out if I keep going. And I don't want to lose my voice and not be able to, like, speak for, like, several days. What I'm going to need it for future streams. Yeah. All that voice acting for all those uh, memes earlier on was like... That took a lot out of me, clearly. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm thinking instead, chat, I think we might just call this early. And then um, next time we stream this, I will 100%, I promise you, uh, finish this event. Um, again, we don't have that much left, and like I said, we got the one, the one bonus from the, the period here. So maybe over the weekend we'll do another one? I don't know. I have to see how long before Aventurine drops, because I have to start planning around that too, because I want to, I want to get him first day. Um, four days and 15 hours. Um, yeah, I think we can do some this weekend, um, intermixing it with some other games. And that'll be good, right? Anyway, chat, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I, I'm still having so much fun with this patch. The storyline was awesome. This event is pretty chill. A lot of fun. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted. The game continues to like throw all these like, I get it. It continues to be a very compelling drama while being a comedy game. And I do appreciate that. It's ability to balance those issues. Like, it just goes off the wall mean tastic and then it just goes back to, like, super serious plot stuff. And, again, I do want us, after having that one experience with the Hanu Adventures books, I want us to... What's the word? I want us to have a lore night. Where we go around and I will narrate as many as many books of lore as I can. I might even open a, qu a query on the Discord so we can, like, open up, like, lore questions that we have, that you guys have, and then we'll see if, like, any of you have, like, specific topics, and we'll look for books and stuff that might cover those topics. That way we'll have, like, a direction, and we're not just like, oh, I'm just gonna read these books in order or something, right? In alphabetical or whatever, however they order this. I think that might be a great way for us to kind of be able to, like, do our own little lore hunting on the way. I still am waiting for a study into the Mars truck to be added to the game. Come on, Hoyo. You can't tease me with this. A thesis by the Alchemy Commission verifying the origin of and research into Mara afflicting the Sienjo natives. That seems like it's very lore relevant. Please add it. What books? Lovecraft? No, these books, I mean. The, the actual in-game books. Because I'll be honest, I really love the lore to this game. And I really would love to learn more about it by actually reading all these books and stuff actually read the the written material they have here because outside of the stuff that i have like voiced for quests or whatever on stream i have uh yeah i have not really read a lot of this stuff so like and there's also some stuff that i did read for quests that wasn't on stream and i'd like to correct that mistake i have no idea what i'd ask well you have to think about it uh xavier you've been a long time watcher for this uh let's play series so i'm sure if you kind of thought about like stuff that uh like, keep in mind, we had a lot of stuff, like, we talked about the Mara, the Ten Lords Commission, the Sienjo history, um, Bellabog's history, right? Because Yurilo 6 has a long history before, um, meeting, um, the Architects and Klipoth as their Eon God worship, right? Um, for their religion. Um, we have stuff from various quests and things, like, there's a lot. Obviously, heard of Space Station and stuff, like, uh, Rame... Rame, Dr. Ratio, like, there's a lot of things here that I think would be interesting um, for us to delve into from a lore perspective. They don't have Lovecraft? No, not in this game, I man. 
Unfortunately, the Lovecraft are- they have Lovecraftian gods, but no Lovecraft. Good old Klopoth, Mephis, Aha. Like, there's tons of pretty freakish gods of, uh, that Lovecraft would be proud of. Especially Mephis. Like, I- Look at this guy. Chat, yeah, just- I will never- I'll never not be impressed by Myth Mephis's- Oh, wait. Um, I, I had that there, actually. There we go. I'll never not be impressed by Mythos' design. Just look at this shit. Like, this is just absolute insanity. Like, I love it. It perfectly s captures this idea of enigmata. Like, what a monstrous bit of nonsense for a jellyfish. You got whole, who, or whole, whole. I forget how to pronounce that. Enna, Enna is super cool. I love Enna. Then we, have, of course, have Shipe, the Harmony, the Eon of the Family, right? We, all, we should probably also read these. I think we should maybe read these, um, the Devlog, too. Oh, cool, there's more stuff. They, there's not just one. Coolio. Tazeroth, the Propagation. Yausha, the Abundance. Ix, the Nihility. Nanook. Nook's the most, like, human-looking one, right? Like, he just doesn't have any feet. Lan, the hunt. Uh, Aha, the elation. Fuli, the remembrance. Um, I don't know why, but something about Fuli reminds me of like a Chinese emperor. It's something about like the head thing that they have on. Um, Klopoth, preservation. Yeah, there's so much. Oh god, there's all these devlog. I... Oh, they must keep adding to these as um we do new um special DLCs to the. To the simulate universe. That's cool. That is a very cool monster design. Yeah, the Eon, the gods in this game just are awesome. Then, you, of course, you have the Erudition. That's why the Dark Souls do not have horses. All horses are terrible outer gods. <laughs> do you know that Hastor is horse in Icelandic? Is that so, Hastor? Um, isn't that the name of a name of a deity in like Norse mythology or something? I don't know. That name seems familiar to me. I'm just a casual consumer of this story. Man, I don't really have any pressing questions besides March's story. You know what? That's fair, I, uh, Xavier. I'm an ignoramus regarding the story, and I won't understand it well until I've started playing it myself. By the way, thanks for Ergo Procky recommendation, Loki. It's very cool. So, well, I'm glad you like that, because you, uh, you mentioned something very specific. I was like, uh, what's the first thing that comes to mind that has like that criteria? And Ergo Proxy was the one that came. Oh, King in Yellow Hastor. Of course, that's where it is. I keep forgetting the details of the King in Yellow stuff, which is so funny because I've written, um, I've written, like, you know, so much ancillary stuff related to it in, uh, my works. Anyway, chat. Anyway, we're gonna end things here. Like I said, I do want to one day do a lore night, uh, with all of you, but we're gonna, we're gonna have to put that off because we still have story and questing and stuff that we need to do in Pentacony. And we'll see. Maybe if we do get through all that stuff before, uh, 2.0, uh, two comes out, then we'll definitely, uh, do that. But we'll see. We'll see how it plays out. Until then, thanks everybody for joining me. I'm glad you guys are enjoying the playthrough and all that. I'm having a lot of fun myself. Again, I do want to go, like, do deep dive into the lore for my personal enjoyment as someone who's also kind of casual with this storyline, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I have a lot of stuff I'm interested in learning about, and especially with these quests. So, until next time... Later!